Hey everybody, welcome back to Hank's True Barbecue. Today I'm gonna cook something I recently cooked, but in a completely different style. You know I'm a big fan of pork, uh, especially ribs, and yes we're gonna cook ribs again, but today we're gonna follow another big legend's way of cooking ribs. Last time it was Johnny Trigg, today it's Aaron Franklin. Now he cooks his ribs quite differently, uh, with less sugar, less sauce, less everything I would say, so I thought, you know, let's do that, let's try them out, see which ones I prefer. So I got my ribs here, big slab, we're gonna prep them. Got my barbecue sauce, made some of Aaron Franklin's own barbecue sauce, following his recipe in the book. Uh, and also, uh, we're gonna do a lot of spritzing today with apple cider vinegar. I'm gonna put these in my tiny, very cheap, but very good spray bottle, so. The difference I would say is that like if Johnny Triggs cooks his met, uh, ribs like the, according to the 3 to one method, this is kind of more like the 2 two method if you like. So half time we're going to let them ride naked in the grill and then the second half we're going to wrap them and spritz them. So it's time to get started prepping. Uh, the only rub we're going to use is a blend of salt, pepper and a little paprika. Uh, so that'll be inter interesting, kind of like back to the basics if you like, and I really like that approach too, so let's get started prepping the ribs and then we're gonna smoke them and spritz them and baste them with sauce and wrap them and see what comes out the other end. Stick around folks. Now we're gonna mix the rub first, uh, and Aaron Franklin uses a 2 to 1 ratio of uh, 16 mesh black pepper and kosher salt. Uh, now. It's just impossible to find kosher salt in Sweden. I think I could import it from Amazon or somewhere, but it's just not worth the effort. So I decided I'm going to use plain old table salt and apply that first and then the rub. But at least we can add some paprika to the uh, black pepper mix. And shake this up good. Now we're going to prep the ribs a little bit. I'm going to show you how. And then we're going to apply the salt first and then the pepper paprika mix. I think we're gonna add just a bit more. This is more for color than anything. All right, I think we're good to go. Time to bring out the ribs. All right, here's the slab of ribs. Looking good. Now you can see they're quite thin here. The bone is almost shining through. And this part is rather meaty. I know Aaron recommends cutting off the sternum here, but since there's so much meat and these are so thin, I'm actually going to leave it in there. Backside is looking good, not much trimming to be done. We're going to leave the silvery membrane. I always take it off, but since uh, Aaron doesn't and his big smoker, so I thought, you know, I'm going to try it just for once and see how I like it. If I don't like it, I'll keep taking the membrane off. Purely a matter of taste. All right, these look good, so. Time to slather on some mustard as a glue or a binder if you like. Just a thin layer, but this will help. Well, it's gonna add a tiny, tiny bit of flavor, but it's gonna make sure the rub sticks. Good, Let's flip it over. I'm going to start applying the rub on the back side, the bone side, and then we'll flip over to the presentation side. Now I'm going to apply the salt first, since I couldn't get my hands on some kosher salt. I'm going to wing this one, because I've done quite a few rigs, ribs anyway, so that should be good. Black pepper paprika mix. See if I can get an even, even application of the rub. Nice. Flip it over. And we apply salt. I've found that when applying rubs or spices in general, 
instead of holding your spice bottle down here but just moving it up a few inches really helps with the getting an even dis distribution I think that looks good. Uh, just a few words about the spritzing. So I'm using apple cider vinegar. Uh, if you're in the US, just pour it into this spray bottle as it is. That's going to be real good, but the type of apple cider vinegar we have in Sweden is slightly, slightly sweeter and a bit more acidic. So what I've done is poured a 50-50 mix of vinegar and water in this one. That's so basically cutting it down, which should improve things, make it more similar to the US version. But so the sauce is ready, the ribs are ready, the rub is applied, we got the spray bottle, so it's time to fire up the grill. All right, up in temp, time to put the ribs on. So I'll leave these here, running at 130 degrees Celsius, and we'll be back to check in an hour and see if we need some spritzing. I'm also gonna move the Get a little distance between the thermometer probe. That should be good. So two hours in, the ribs are looking good, so it's time to apply the sauce. This is going to sit for a little while, and then we're going to flip them, apply the sauce on the other side, and then it's time to wrap. So we're going to leave them for 10 minutes, and then flip and sauce. So 10 minutes have passed. The sauce has set a little bit. We're flipping it over carefully. I don't want to scratch off too much rub and get some sauce on there. Uh, this should be good to wrap any time now. So, ribs are back, wrapped, meat side down on the grill. All right, so we're at the four, four hour mark. These feel really, really soft and tender, so I'm gonna bring these in. Now, rib cooks go faster when you do wrap them in foil, so it'll be really interesting to try these. All right, so time to take a look. I always use a sheet pan or oven pan like that because there's going to be some fluid in here. Might as well not mess the whole kitchen up. Oh, there's some nice steam. Looking good, looking real tender. Too tender almost. We'll see, flip them over. Yeah, too tender. That's what happens when you cook shiners. Oh, but they look really gorgeous. Can't wait to try these. 
bet that flavor is just right there. I'm gonna shift them over to the cutting board. Oh, it's still looking very, very good. All right, let's slice these up. Nice, real tender. Oh, that looks good. Got a good smoke ring too. I like this flavor, it's good. Good peppery, a little bit salty. You really taste the pork in these. Mm. That's the way it should be. I wish I had some meatier ribs. These are what I call shiners, but mm, the flavor is right there. Really good. I think I like the fact that there is so little sugar on them. Talk about back to basics, tasting the real pork. Nice version to do it this way too, compared to Johnny Trigg. I mean, I like both, but they have them quite different. So it's kind of comparing apples to pears. All right, so we got some tasty ribs. Let the feast begin. This is this was a good, fun cook, I would say. I am a big fan of ribs, so real interesting to try how Aaron Franklin cooks his. Uh, great flavor, peppery, definitely. I think you should really try this at home. So, good one. Now, thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye bye.